Hello and welcome to the very first Balsa and Base Coats episode and this project is Project Space Wool. So these will be videos that I'll be bringing over time, whether it be uh, updates on the army, whether it be painting videos, whether it be terrain making videos, and there'll be a whole series of these, not only on 40k and Space Wolves in particular, but a whole range of different uh, armies and projects that I'm working for. Uh, working on towards some kind of end goal. In this case, it will be a battle report featured between the Space Wolves and the Orcs. And that was the whole premise of me purchasing and investing in a Space Wolf army to begin with. So what set this off was Fangs of the Wolf by Andy Chambers and Jervis Johnson. And as they're both regular sparring partners on the second edition battle reports, they gave us uh, you know, Gaskell Thracker's Orc Warband, which had probably, I think, the most beautiful painted Orc army ever in it, in it, in existence. Um, people can debate me on that one, but I think it's the most colourful, most charming, has the best collection of models um, of any Orc range ever made. Um, you know, here and thereafter. So that, that's that's basically another video project that I'll be going through at some stage in the future. You know, collecting, painting the various regiments and and, and war bands of, uh, and mobs, I should say, of this particular list. I have some of the models, but I don't have other models, but you can see my progress on that on a, on a separate project video. But the one we're looking at today is called uh, Ragnar Blackmane Space Walls, and I have acquired all of those models. And it's now just the process of actually painting it, making the terrain, and you get to be part of that. Uh, and these projects as to how I'm going how I'm going with it you can comment on it you can you know pester me about it you know how you're going on with it you know what's happening give us another video update blah blah, blah. Uh, and there'll be painting videos okay so we're gonna go, we're gonna touch on the painting side of things in a minute but um, as you can see I need to make this iconic uh, set for the scenery uh, along with the sort of rocky crag uh, terrain features as well. Uh, there's a Predator tank featured in Dark Angel Predator tank, which, which is part of the actual mission of this uh, scenario. And hopefully, there's going to be a scan where I can just print off a print off one, or there's one that's busted and someone doesn't really need it, and I can use it as, um, as something to uh, facilitate that as the objective marker in the scenario at some point in the future. Um, but it's a great looking. Well, it's a, it's a visually beautiful looking battle report. And it was the very first one, I think, for second edition 40K. But quote me if I'm wrong there. But, you know, these iconic buildings with all the archways and Gothic um, windows and all that kind of thing, you know, is just reminiscent of this time. And, you know, there's no other, there's nothing that speaks more to people with, for second edition 40K than these buildings here, which I believe were made by Adrian Wilde at the time, the master scenery builder and maker. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a fun project to do. Uh, you know, it's just getting it done. And that's where you can you can be involved with, uh, you know, poking that stick into my ribs and saying, come on, let's get on with it. Let's see it. Let's get this done. And let's make this uh, an actual um, actuality, really. Uh, now, there's an orc project that I'll go over soon as well because there are models that I've painted for orcs as well recently that you haven't seen yet and uh, so you can have a look at that but that's basically the battle report now let's have a look at the miniatures that I'm working on okay so in terms of painting uh, now I, I started you know putting base coats on these models years ago now might have been 2020 or so or 2021 I can't remember but I got a feeling it was before COVID, but I can't remember. Um, and that's how long ago when I bought it uh, from a guy in Australia. And uh, so I thought I'd start with these guys first because they were the coolest looking models. I love the Terminators. And I bought the Vallejo game color, shadow gray and space or gray, but I just wasn't really satisfied with the, t um, the, 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 the gray itself. It just looked like just standard gray. So that's basically where it ended. I, I painted up this guy and I posted it on Instagram oh, ages ago now. 
And again, I just wasn't happy with the armor and I just, just thought it looked very flat, very bland, didn't have any sort of blue into it. I tried to mix blue into the gray and just didn't work and I just wasn't really satisfied with it um, entirely. So I thought I'd just leave it until I found the best solution for the armor. And that came with uh, Nostalgia 88. They were going to phase out the 88 range and I thought I'm going to take a punt and I'm just buy a few bottles of these and see how they go and see if they sort of resemble the um, studio uh, paint jobs and the studio colors. And I was really quite surprised how good they were. And because of the nature of the paint, it being so thin, they go beautifully over white primed models. And, um, and I was really, really impressed with how it, you know, obviously these aren't completely finished. They're sort of, it's all sort of work in progress stuff. Um, but, you know, I'm really happy with how the armor looks now looks a lot better than what it did before and you know that's the main thing and that sort of spurred me on after getting those paints and I'm thinking oh this looks much better that got me a spur on to actually start you know getting more of the stuff painted and and uh, you know actually completing something for it which would be nice because it's still in this you know they're all in cases and all the models are partly assembled and you know they're all in you know, and this is the only sort of progress I've made on it so far. So now I can, you know, for, for sure say that this will be the first squad. Uh, this will be the painting video I'll do. I'll do this, this guy last. And he'll be sort of a heavy lead painting video. How I do the whole process of painting the armor and everything else. Uh, transfers are used on these guys as well, just for the shoulder pads. Everything else is done freehand. And... Um, and uh, yeah, it's been good. It's been a revelation. But unfortunately, those those paints are now discontinued. But I'm sure the coat to arms paint from Black Hat Miniatures they will be very similar to those. Or maybe Games Workshop Citadel paints have a have a colors very similar to those. I'm not really sure. But the Vallejo ones I just wasn't very happy with. So yeah, so shout out to War Colors, the Soldier 88. Please bring them back. I'm sure, and the inks are amazing. The inks for Nostalgia Idea were incredibly good. I'm so glad to have got those before they also phased them out. Um, so that's a real shame they're, they're not, no longer available. I thought they were the best ones they had. So that's it, guys. That's basically where I'm at at it. You know, that's where I'm up to with the project. Now it just means I need to get, now I've sort of pledged and put this on a video. It means I need to follow through and actually start painting stuff and actually get this squad, this first this initial squad done, and then I'll move on to something else, like the Blood Claws, or maybe I'll put it on for a poll vote, and you can vote on which squad I do next, either Long Fangs, uh, the Blood Claws, or the Grey Hunters. Um, characters probably be left last. I did start on the big man, Ragnar, but I'm just not really happy with it, and I think I've just gone over way too many times with the with the with the initial greys I was using, not really happy, changing them, changing them, and it's just got to a point where I think I'm just better just stripping this guy back and starting all over again. Nice. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you were slightly entertained, if at all. Uh, if uh, 40k is not your thing, then don't worry. There'll be fantasy uh, projects to come as well, in the, in the shape of Empire, Chaos. There's some green skins to do. Uh, so there's lots of stuff still on the agenda here. And hopefully I can give you an update on the Space Wolves and how they're coming along in the future. And these videos just in this format, just allows me to produce uh, shorter videos, but uh, with hopefully interesting content for you guys uh, that inspires you as I've been inspired by other people, such as Brandy Dog on Instagram with his incredible space wolf army that he's painting up and other people in the community in our discord or facebook groups and other people's on other people on youtube so hopefully i can inspire you to get your projects done and you know get them resolved so until next time guys take care of yourselves enjoy your hobby this week and i'll see you again in the next video Bye bye